A mystery in Ferguson tonight after a man who was taken to the hospital by ambulance ends up dead on a neighbor's front porch just hours later. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. The man's nephew called Five on Your Side, hoping to learn more about his uncle's final moments. Our Christine Byers investigated and explains what she learned. Jermaine Lacey had been living with his stepfather's 72-year-old brother, Anthony Miller, for two and a half years. So my mother told me to look out for Tony because she was in bad health. And um, I told her, I said, I'd take her to Tony. At about 5.30 p.m. Sunday, September 17th, Miller's breathing got worse. He was coughing. He made a, he makes these gag noises. Lacey and his neighbors say an ambulance took his uncle to Christian Hospital. About nine hours later, I get a knock at the door from my neighbors across the street. He was screaming, it's the dead body on my porch. Home surveillance cameras captured the moment James Phillips' fiance found Miller's body. She was trying to wake him up. I walked over and I had grabbed him and I mean, he was already rock hard stiff at that point. Phillips says he didn't recognize it was Miller until police turned over his body. It's not right. Definitely not right. I mean, he should never. He should never been released. If an older gentleman or anybody of that age has chest problems and they go to the hospital, they should never have been released in the amount of time that he was. BJC runs Christian Hospital. A spokeswoman told us BJC was not able to comment on this case due to patient confidentiality laws. The police report states Miller was pronounced dead at 3:45 a.m. That's all I want to know. Why? Why was it so important to release a person of that age, of that health, at 2 o'clock in the morning at the wrong address to die on somebody's porch? Christine Byers, five on your side. The St. Louis County Medical Examiner's Office also confirmed Miller's body is at the morgue. He will not be given an autopsy because he was older than 50 years old and there were no signs of foul play, drugs, or alcohol involvement. His nephew says he cannot afford a proper burial, so he will likely be interred at a county-owned plot.